Uh, okay. So first we will see. Uh, so suppose we have two developers and uh, one developer changed something and he published it. Then how do we sync the developer one changes to developer two uh, workspace? So now consider sales admin is developer uh, one and we have another login that is fusion admin. Um, so now first we will make some changes to uh, from from developer one that is from sales admin and then we will uh, then we will see how we can sync these changes so first i'm going to the uh, workspace so this is my workspace Here, I will make some changes. For example, um, I'll go to opportunities. And I'll go to uh, edit layout. And then I'll duplicate it. And I'll add two fields here. So this is the change I'm going to make from the uh, user one. Okay, so these two fields we have added. So that is the change from opportunity. So now to make this available uh, for all other users, so first we need to commit these changes. Okay. And then, so this will be uh, now saved to local, uh, local copy. And now we are moving these changes to a uh, remote copy. So using push action. So from a local to remote branch. Okay, so now, uh, so now it is in remote branch and it is not yet published. So it's not in main. It is still in contact changes uh, branch remote. Now I log into the uh, uh, user two. That is Fusion Admin. Now I'll go to the same uh, project where he is also a member of a project. Uh, so we have a separate workspace for this user. So it's Fusion Admin workspace. So now this user uh, by default doesn't uh, doesn't have these changes. So we, we made some changes right for opportunity. Uh, so those changes will not be available for this user. So if you see edit layout, so it is still with the standard uh, layout. Okay. Now, uh, to pull the changes, uh, right from the uh, another workspace, uh, you can go to this drop down and I do a pull action. So now it is asking the remote branch. So from which remote branch you want? We wanted to uh, incorporate changes. So that is. Uh, contact changes so we our changes are in contact changes branch now we are moving i mean we are refreshing uh, from this to fusion admin changes branch so that is the user to branch click on pull changes 
So it says zero files changed and six inserted. And any deletions it will show. Now close this tab and just to do a refresh. Now go to opportunities. You can see now edit layout is changed and you can see a you can see a new layout that whatever we created in another workspace is available here and the fields added is available from for the developer too. Suppose even uh, if user one publishes these changes, uh, so still we can pull these changes from main. So because uh, once they publish, uh, developer one publishes, it will go to the main file, main file, right? Main copy. So we can pull the same changes instead of this uh, uh, local um, remote branch. instead of taking from the remote uh, branch, so we can take the main branch. And then we can publish the changes. So suppose if uh, they make changes for the same object on the same edit layout, so then the conflicts will happen. So, so we might need to manually uh, resolve those conflicts. So now this user can publish uh, these changes uh, and so that it will be also available for all users. So then rest of the steps is same as, as it is. So uh, now we will see uh, about CX sales Redwood analytics. So in CX sales, right? Uh, so earlier we have uh, the sales uh, sales uh, 